Well, let's go to Washington, where Mike joins us. Mike, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. Hey, Mike. What's going on? Hey, well, thanks for having me on the call. i got a question for you. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, listening to your show for a couple months, and in listening and mentally going through your process as you uh, help other people find their passion, their sweet spot, um, I came to realize that I've been working in my sweet spot for the last six years, and I just got to say how thankful I am um, to come to that realization. Um, So my job is multifaceted, and I found that there's one area that is my sweet spot. And it got me thinking, I was like, okay, now that I've found the sweet spot, I got my dream job, um, everything's gone the way I want it. If something were to change and I had to find another job, I'd want to continue working in this field. However, to the prereqs for this position would need a bachelor's degree in industrial engineering, which I don't have. So the question is, do I pursue getting a degree to future-proof my uh, work future. But you're already doing the work of an industrial engineer? For the most part, yeah. Well, I I mean... (sighs) Okay, here's the question I have. And you're going to have to inform (laughs) me on this one because you know your field better than me. Yeah. If you're already doing the work of an industrial engineer for a company and you're doing it well, and that's the presumption that I'm making... Mm -hmm. Given the experience you have and the skill sets of the industrial engineer that you already have, that presumably a degree would give you, do you really need a degree to get an engineering, industrial engineering job if you're already doing it? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I, I know. Like- I mean, what I'm saying is it's if you were straight out of school – and you wanted to be an industrial engineer and you're not, you've never done the work. You have no experience. I think a degree is a, that's what they try to do to whittle people down. They want to know if you've got the basics, but if you're doing it gotcha, mm-hmm. and you've already got experience doing it and skill sets of an actual, uh, excuse me, an active, successful industrial engineer and you're applying for something and they go, do you have a degree? You go, no, I actually learned on the job and did all the training. I've been doing this. I, I just wonder if you need it. Maybe some companies are going to say, we really want you to have that. Other people with a brain, in my opinion, who can think outside of a box, are going to go, well, you've already, you already are an industrial engineer. So that all that, yeah. all that being said, I want you to really do your homework on this and see, is it really something that's going to trip you up? If it comes down to a 50-50 yeah. and it's all subjective opinion, depending on who you talk to, then yeah, I would, then, then I think maybe you go get the degree. Um, But my normal answer on any degree is if it is the only way or the best way, then do it. If it's not the only way or the best way to get to a ticket to to the dance that you want to be in, which Mm -hmm. you're already doing, then I wouldn't do it. Uh, Because here's what this boils down to. Do you think Mm -hmm. you're going to learn a whole lot if you were to go get an industrial engineering degree? Do you think you're going to learn a whole lot that you don't already know? I think there's some things that would really make me a better engineer. Great. Um, then I would say, weakness then I would say, my, do. yeah. Okay. In okay. this situation that I think it probably does help you. Okay. So yeah. Now the question is, can you cash flow it? Can you do it part time? You know, cause you're already working. So you're going to have to do this uh, as you go. Correct. Yeah. So as I've been waiting for this phone call to, to work out, um, as I've been thinking and praying about it, what kind of brought me peace was um, doing whatever I can to take classes and bolster my skill set and work on the the weakest areas that I have through you know um, affordable classes, um, night classes, things that aren't part of a curriculum. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, well, that's so where I was going to go next. Different... That's where I was okay. going to go uh-huh. next. Is can you do yeah. some engineering courses? that aren't traditional four-year degrees and you still get that knowledge and you get proof of that knowledge. That would, to me, is the better play. 
Yeah, and it looks like I can. So I did a lot of research on the requirements and the prereqs for an industrial. You know, if I'm looking for a job, what do they have on the on the thing? Yeah. And there's a bunch of stuff, and there's a lot of these you know standalone classes that I think could get me up to speed and get me the uh, well, I would know, do that certificates and accreditations. And that's it. That's kind of where I was leaning. Yeah. Well, no, that's what you need. You don't need an undergrad. Oh, okay. You don't need all this undergrad stuff that's yeah. not relevant. All they care about is. Do you know how to do yeah. the engineer? Have you been trained? So if you can do that gotcha. in a non-traditional degree, uh, outside of a non-traditional degree, then yes, I run to that. Yes, you do need that. That's good. Thanks for the call, Mike. Keep doing what you're doing. You've already researched this. Go do it. Just cash flow your way through it. Be patient enough. Do not go into debt on this because, again, you're already gainfully employed. And I got to believe if you use the proximity principle, which says in order to do what you want to do, you got to be around people that are doing it. And in places where it is happening, I wrote about that principle in depth in my number one best-selling book, The Proximity Principle. If you're already in industrial engineering and you know how to use the proximity principle, you're going to be okay. But still do this additional training, but I don't think you have anything to worry about.